So within the time being out here, how old you by the way? 22. 22. Okay, so y'all y'all some young age, y'all some young men right now. So the 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 future ahead relies on y'all two men. Right. Y'all y'all are believe it or not, y'all examples whether it's good or bad. Y'all know that, right? So what information did you learn so far here? Be honest. If you ain't learned nothing, you ain't learned nothing. Uh-huh, which was what? Flow tribe. So what would you call yourself? What would you call yourself? Judah. And, and what else? What else? I just got here, so I wanna I wanna be up to speed of what y'all know, what y'all don't know. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this. If you look at the world today, society today. Would you say it's good? Would you say it's bad? Or why you say that? Why you say that? Uh huh. How about you? He's doing more to talk. How about you? Would you? Say, I'm, I'm gonna repeat my question today. If you look at society today, would you say that it's good or bad, or you really don't care? It's not affecting you. Why do you say it's bad? Like what? Shootings, okay. Black on black crime, okay. That's in the Bible, dude. That's in the Bible. We can show you that. But keep going. Racism, that's in the Bible, okay. Let me build up to the point. Let me build up to the point. First of all, why are we out here today? Let me get Luke 4 and 18. Check it out. Luke 4 and 18. There's a, there's, a, there's a divine reason why we're out here today, and it's for you two men. Look around right now. Take take notice. We out here on the corner of the streets, and it's y'all two men that's standing out right here. You see what I'm saying? Right. So there's a divine reason why you guys are being marked right now today before you know it or not. So what y'all take off, what y'all take away, what you, when y'all walk off, take this as very valuable information That's that right. you're getting for free. Right. Because you don't see no bucket out here. You don't see us collecting ties, arms, nothing. All we out here is just a soda word in you guys' minds, and you take it and you build for me. You got kids? You got kids? Read what you got. The book of Luke, chapter 4 and verse 18. Check it out. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So us here at IUIC is united in Christ. We are here to preach the gospel to the poor. Now when it says poor, do you mean those that are actually poor? What do you, what do you think that means? No, no, nah, that's actually poor. Low wealth income, that's the poor people. The ones that's poor in spirit, right. poor in mind. You that's see what I'm right. saying? Michael Jordan, he's poor. Oprah Winfrey, she's poor. Right. Jay-Z, poor. You know why I say that they're poor? You, you know why the Bible says that they're poor? Because they cannot tell our nationality, right. their identity, right. their heritage. You see what I'm saying? So what good is for you to have that money with you when you can't take it with you to the grave? Right. Well, how, how can you affect or how can you change your community? You see what I'm saying? So have they changed their community? Absolutely not. That's right. by, 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 by giving us rock aware or... or Music that's preaching black on black crime, that's teaching black on black crime, right. that's teaching you to sell drugs. Is that helping our community? Oprah Winfrey by us, by her giving us a TV show or a network. That's what? It's filth. It's garbage. Is that teaching us our nationality, our identity? Michael Jordan, what he did when y'all went ahead and put money in his pocket, he built up jails. Because he know that y'all would stand in line in the freezing cold and kill one another if you step on their shoes, okay? Hell, go ahead. If you, if you step on their shoes, you're ready to fight. So you got to think about that. Those men, those wealthy men, that's wealthy on earth, they're still poor in spirit. Remember that. Keep going. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Are we not brokenhearted today? 
Are we not broken hearted today? When you look around in our community, as soon as y'all two men, y'all y'all understand right now, your life is in danger as soon as you walk out that door. That's right. As soon as you walk out that door, y'all got hoodies on your head. What happened to uh, Trayvon Martin? You see what I'm saying? He said, oh, he had a hoodie on over his head. He looked like a thug. Right. You see what I'm saying? So y'all putting your lives in danger as soon as y'all walk out that door before y'all know it or not. That's right. Keep going. To preach deliverance to the captives. We're out here to preach deliverance to the captives. Because right now, today, and uh, November 2021, we are still in captivity. That's right. That's right. We may not have the physical yokes of iron on our necks, but we still are in captivity. I can prove it. I can prove it. I can prove it. Give me Baruch 3 and 8. Bring it out. Baruch 3 and 8. Wake him up. Because we're still in captivity today. We're still in captivity today. Y'all have jobs? Y'all have jobs? Y'all you live with your parents, your, your uh, family, or you have no job, no business? Okay, you're in school. Okay, check this out. We're still in captivity there. Listen, listen to what the Bible says. The book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. Check it out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, uh -huh. where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. So we are reproaching a curse, and you will ask yourself how, because you say, I'm fine. Look at me. I'm wealthy. I got the latest sneakers on. I'm, I'm well-groomed. I'm fine. I'm healthy. So how would you say, how, how is this so? Read on. And to be subject to payment. You are all subject to payment. That's right. You understand that? This world was given to us. This world was made for us. That's, That's, right. Right. That's something they never taught y'all in school. Right. This world was made for the so-called blacks and Hispanics. But yet, we're subject to payment. Keep reading. Subject to payment according to all the iniquities of our fathers. According to all our sins that we committed, we now are, we now are, the, the other nations are now reaping the benefits for our curses, for our sins. Right. And you gotta ask yourself why. Why is it that we do not know this? Why is it that they have never teach us this? Why is it that we are cursed today? Let me get Second Chronicles 15 and 3. Because it always goes down to why. I want for y'all, when y'all walk away, I want for y'all to think different, talk different, walk better. Y'all not thugs, y'all not hoodlums, okay? Y'all not real niggas. Right. Y'all are considered gods according to the Bible. That's right. right. Okay? So you gotta understand, you have to, Treat yourself in a high esteem, in a high matter, okay? Y'all was born with the, the, with the divine purpose in this world, okay? So we out here to uh, 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 increase your level of understanding and have you walk with a high esteem, but also, we also have to mark you all. We also have to show you your wrong. Read what you got. Book of Second Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Now for a long season, uh -huh. Israel has been without the true God. For a long season, we have not known the true God. If you look right here, who would you say is Jesus Christ? Just by looking, who would you say? Don't read it, just look. You say you think it's him because that's what you was taught. How about yourself? You say that it's him, right? Okay, keep going. For a long, excuse me. Now for a long season, Israel has been without the true God uh -huh. and without a teaching priest. Without a teaching priest, without a without a, 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 a person that could teach us where we're going wrong. I don't want to go to church and hear your problems when I got problems as well. Your problems is not going to help my problems. You see what I'm saying? And, and on top of that, just cast your cares in the Lord and just, just pray. How do I know if the Lord's hearing my prayers if I'm still in wickedness? Right. You see what I'm saying? I can't pay my way out of trouble. I can't pay my way out of sin. That's right. And not change and not convert. Keep going. And without law. And without law. <clears throat> because your preacher should be teaching us the laws. That's your right. preacher should be teaching us how to convert and how to change ourselves. Right. That's right. So let's hit that real quick. You said the, you heard that um this was your this was the image of Christ, correct? So when y'all walk away, y'all gonna find out the real image of Jesus Christ. Did he go over that with y'all? He went over that with y'all. Okay, well, I'm going to go, bring it out again. I'm going to bring it out again. Do what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. You know what the word revelation means at all? 
Say that again. Listen, I can pull you out. Listen, COVID-19 is the last thing I feel right now. Yes, you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Maybe to y'all. Y'all can pull y'all masks out so I can hear. I want to dialogue with y'all. I want, I want to build with y'all. COVID-19 is the last thing I feel. You understand that? What does it mean, Revelation? What do you think it means? How about you? The word revelation means to reveal. That's right. Okay, so right now we're revealing the image of Jesus Christ. Right. Okay, keep going. No, read it again. Well, verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. So the revelation means the revealing of which John the Revelator is going to reveal to you all. Give me verse 2. Verse 2. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. So he bear record the word of God. How did he bear record? He put it in his Bible. That's right. And let's see what happens once we he bear record. Let's say, let's see what he tells us what to do after he bear record of it. Give me verse 3. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Say that again. Blessed is he that readeth. I'm going to ask you, not to, not to put you on the spot, what was the last book you read? Or when was the last time you read a book? It's been a while, right? How about yourself? Uh, Called what? And you're, you're in school, right? Okay, so you have to read the book. If you wasn't in school, would you be reading a book right now? Absolutely not. But listen to what the Bible says. Blessed is he that readeth. Now, when it says, blessed is he that readeth, does it mean any book? Does it mean Time Magazine? Does, does, does it mean uh, uh, Essence Magazine? Hell no. Blessed is he that reads the Bible. And listen to the rest of the verse. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Because all prophecy can only come out of this Bible. That's right. how you know it's not about any other book. Right. Prophecy only comes out of this Bible. I can tell you what happened back then, and I can tell you what's going to happen in the future. Right. You can only find that out through this life, thus saith the Lord. Right. Keep right. Going. And keep those things which are written therein. So that's the, that's the, that's the uh, uh, catch to it. Once when you read this Bible, you have to keep the things that's written in this Bible. That's what I'm saying. This right here shows you how to be a man. This right here has you come out of the ways of America, come out of the ways of Babylon. You Zaza, understand that? Zaza. Uh, give me verse 13. Verse 13. And in the midst of seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man. So John the Revelator, he's saying in the midst of seven candlesticks, and if you ever look at us, who has on the menorah? Who's got a menorah right now? Okay, if you look at this, right? You see seven candlesticks. So you gotta ask yourself, just by us reading a couple of verses, you know the real Jews are supposed to have seven candlesticks. Where do you get the ones that have nine? You see what I'm saying? That's stuff you gotta ask. That, that's that stuff you gotta ask yourself. Right. Why sometimes do I see seven candlesticks? Why sometimes do I see nine? Because the real Jews are supposed to have seven. That's right. Okay. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth